Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what I'm going to be doing is opening up a game I got for Christmas this year, and that is Monstrosity. Monstrosity. Monstrosity from Deepwater Games, uh, designer Eric Slauson. This is a party game about drawing monsters that I've got to say looks fantastic. I first heard about this at the Gen Con Spring Spectacular a couple years ago. I've been wanting a copy since, and I've got to thank my family for finally picking me up a copy. Um, so no review copy here tonight. This is one we got on our own. Um, I don't want to spoil all the monsters in here, so I'm going to show off you the components, what you get in the box, as well as a couple of the cards. But I don't want to show through too many of them, because I think part of the joy of this game is discovering the cards on your own. So basically, this is a game of sketch artists and eyewitnesses. Um, not here to teach you the game. I'm just here to show you the components, but I'll probably mention some of the gameplay elements while opening this up. So let's get to it. Let's crack open the box on Monstrosity from Deepwater Games. All right, here you have my copy of Monstrosity. It comes in a fairly small box. Uh, I can't actually read that. It shows it is for three to eight players, ages eight plus, 20 minute play time. Quick look at the sides of the box. Not a lot to see here. Barely not a lot. Just kind of duplicates. Oddly, they move this and this in the one spot. I guess that's if you store your game this way or this way. Anyway, back cover kind of explains how the game's played. Basically enough that if you pick this up, you know what to do. Um, what I do like is a little thing here showing that, that actually, for a party game, strategy is rated higher than luck. Interaction's really high, and while difficulty starts simple. It's interesting this strategy is higher than luck in a party game. I like to see that. Okay, so that's actually, a, you know what, for a cardboard box insert that's mainly meant to keep things safe, uh, this looks pretty good. Now this is warning me right away, stop. So we're going to see what this says and see if we want to continue here. Maybe it says don't look at stuff or something, but I'm going to take a quick look. Urge you not to look at the contents of this deck until you're ready to play. When you're ready to play, remove this card, shuffle the deck face down, and Witness will draw their first card. Once you've used a card, you can place it in the empty tray of the box. After you've existed all the cards, you can find expansions or reuse them with variant rules. So again, yeah, I mentioned this. I, I only, I'll, I'll like show you one monster and that's it. Because I don't want to spoil it. So this is the game warning you of that. Oddly, it's not in the deck. And I can already see monsters. So this is silly. You, you deep water, you put this over here, but yet there's, I can see one. And then there's another pack here that I, I think I already spoiled, where you can see another monster underneath. So, like, this should have been one pack with that on top, and then it would have been like, oh, cool. So, slight fail there. Um, there's an agent sticker. Department of Recording Anomaly Witnesses. Witnesses? Is that? Yeah, that's Witnesses. Sorry, the font's a little. Kind of cool. I bet you this ends up on my uh, daughter's banjo case. Comes with markers. Always appreciated. Dry erase markers. We'll put those aside to test one out. We have the rule book. We will flip through fairly quickly so you can get an idea what the rules look like. Oh, nice. It's, it's you know, it looks like a manila envelope and you got the typed up stuff with redacted. Uh, because basically you witnessed a monster. Someone witnessed a monster making a, completing a crime. And then everyone else are like the sketch artists and the witness has to describe the monster. And then the sketch artists have to try to draw what the witness is saying. There's some interaction there. It looks like there might be something holding up your hands. Uh, rules are in typewriter font, which is cool. See, it's showing off a monster in here, too. Alternate modes of play it has me curious. Because that is my, my biggest concern with this game is you can only play it once per monster in the deck. But, like, concern. Like, look at all those. Like, how many games do you play that many times that it's actually going to be a concern? But if you do happen to go through these, there are multiple expansions out there. That give you new monsters. So that's it. We're looking at, um, besides the ultimate, what do we have? Four pages? Five? They're not numbered. So that's, that's not rules. So one, two, three, four, four pages of rules with uh, some alternate ways to play. And then the quick play on the back, how to play. So then we get to, this is, I think, the scorecard the witness keeps to put down the agents and everything. Again, with that nice draw. I'm reminded of the flying spaghetti monster a bit there. And then different witness boards, clipboards. Kind of odd they're not in colors, but you know what? It works. Like, I'm not complaining. They're not in colors. It's just odd not to see a party game. Thoughts of bright colors. 
I gotta say it's nice, the dry erase. Take this out. We're gonna, you know. There you go. We get we got we got like quick monster. Drew nice and quick. Erase is nice. So yeah, already, already, just even once, there's a little smudge there. You know what? That happens. It's dry erase. You get some cleaning solution or just rub it enough with your thumb. You'll be able to clear that off. Know what I do like? Nice, fine point. Nice. Or you can use the edges. I, I appreciate that. Especially when you're trying to draw cool looking monsters. Yeah, everything cleaned up pretty good there. Actually, that mark that was in the middle might have already been there. So we're going to toss those back. There's no reason to really look at those. I'm not quite sure why I'm keeping this in the plastic, but you know what? It might keep them from drying out quicker, so why not? Put this back. I am going to leave the instructions on top for my own sake, because I'm going to want to read those before playing. So this cavity here is for once you've seen the monster carts. So I am going to crack this open, and of course I always have a hard time with the cards, but I want to be able to touch the cards, see the thickness and the quality, and shuffle them. Uh, not to show you off some of the pictures. So we're going to crack this open. But here we go. So here's one half of the cards. What I'm not going to bother, I'm not going to bother opening the second half. Honestly, I'm probably going to keep that sealed as long as possible until we've used up these cards. So I'm going to shuffle these. They got a nice plasticky coating. Um, there's no linen finish or anything like that. They do slip. You can kind of see them slipping around in my hands. But this is a nice solid deck. Like that's not going to slide around on the table. But they are a little slippery. Not in a bad way. Not that's a bad thing. I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. Yeah, they shuffle nice. Let's try a quick riffle. Please, no comments making fun of my ability or lack of ability to riffle shuffle. So I can do that part pretty good, but I'm not good at the bridge. Yeah, that felt good. A um, little bit of warping from riffle shuffling. Now, what I like to do is flip them over and riffle shuffle them the other way. But I don't want to do that on stream and show you one of the pictures. So normally, I would close my eyes and do these flipped over just to kind of bend them back the other way. So I said, I'm not good at the bridge. So we are going to look at one monster, just to show it off. So what's going to happen is the one player is going to look at this, look at it for so many seconds, I don't remember the exact time limit, then they're going to have to put it away and then describe that monster to the, the witnesses, or sorry, the, the, the sketch artists, who are they going to draw. Then there's a period where they can ask questions like, oh, is his nose between his eyes or over to the left side? Refine their drawings and then the award points for how close you are to this drawing. So here is one of the entire deck, I don't know how many are here, Double this, so like huge thick deck of monsters from Monstrosity. There we go. So this would be one of the monsters you would be trying to describe. So, you know, the witness would look at this for 20 seconds and then flip it and be like, okay, it's it's got its arms up and it's got a huge nose and it's furry. It's got fur all over and he's, it's growling at the end of its mouth and it's got big bug eyes and so on. I'm not here to play the game, though we could have made this interactive. Uh, an interactive experience. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to put this up here. I'm not going to consider that wasted because I got one quick look at it. I don't think that's going to ruin the game for me in the future. Uh, only complaint, this was not actually on top of the decks telling me not to look. Here you have it. What you get with Monstrosity. Deepwater Games from Eric Slauson, the designer. All right. I got to say... Um, a box insert that's like literally useful. Like it holds this stuff here and it's got two spots for cards. And one of the spots for cards is actually useful that once you use a card in this game, you put it there. Now, this game is kind of meant to be a one and done in the fact that you only want to draw each monster once because you don't want to play it multiple times and be like, oh, you know that one with the three eyes? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, I know that one. That, that would ruin the game. But there are so many cards in here. I don't think your average game group is going to go through them. And that, like I, I, you'd have to play this game a lot. I didn't count how many cards. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say? Does it say? I don't see anything that tells me exactly how many cards are in here. There's a lot of cards in here. Um, I only showed off one of them. My only complaint, and this is like a, just a minor packaging I'm a little confused by, is Deepwater put in a card that says, make sure you don't look at the cards, just shuffle them and put them back in the box face down. But that card wasn't on the card stacks, and the card stacks were face up with a monster showing. Which is just silly. Like, you, you gave me the stop, don't do this, but then you did it to me. Other than that, though, um, I dig the box size. This is going to fit nice on my board game shelves. I like the uh, the box is very solid. The card quality seemed excellent. I don't think you're going to be... This isn't like a, you know, a trick-taking game where you're going to be shuffling the deck over and over or a deck-building game. I don't see any quality problems with the cards. The art we did see, which, you know, you can kind of see the style on the front. 
was very cute and whimsical. These are not scary monsters. I think this would be great for kids of all ages. Really looking forward to playing some Monstrosity, Deepwater Games, and Eric Sloss. Now, when I do start playing this game, I will be sharing pictures online on social media. You can follow me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Uh, the big place for pictures, of course, is going to be Instagram, also Facebook and Twitter. Um, and now Dice Camp being one of the Mastodon servers I'm on. I will also be sharing my opinion in a full review, which you'll be able to find at TabletopBellhop.com and on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Now, fair warning, I'm probably going to spoil one monster every game that way, but what I'm going to try to do is just share pictures of what people have drawn, not the actual monster card. That way I'm not really giving everything away. Um, again, there's so many cards in this deck. Um, you may want to take a look around for this particular game. There is a Target exclusive version called the Target, uh, the Top Secret version, which has a lower price point for those in the U.S. Unfortunately, I'm in Canada, so that's not the version we have here. And there are multiple expansions. The expansions just give you more monsters and more cards. So if you find you do like the game, it's worth seeking out the expansions. And I've got to admit, just flipping through it, I think my kids are going to love this game, and I already want more cards. But it's going to take us a while to get through what we have. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. Good day, and game on.